Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get the Homebrew Launcher app on your Wii U menu for the Tiramisu environment. As most of you know, the default Homebrew Launcher is integrated into the Mii Maker app. But some of us really like the look of the Homebrew Launcher app, so we are going to relieve Mii Maker of their duties and transfer the responsibility of holding Homebrew apps back to the Homebrew Launcher. Follow me along and you can get this set up on your Wii U as well. So getting started, the first step is we're going to download the Homebrew Launcher. So linked below is this Google Drive page for the Homebrew Launcher. Click on it and in the top right, click download and it should download a zip file in the bottom left. Now you're also going to need WAP Installer GX2 and if you don't already have that, there's a video link below on how to get it and how to work. But once you've downloaded the app, we're going to open up the SD card we used to mod our Wii U. Open up the download link for the Homebrew Launcher. If you don't already have an install folder, create one and we're going to drag the Homebrew Launcher app inside. Close the zip file and if you open up the Homebrew Launcher, you should see it has app files, h3 files and title files. That is what we want. But once you have the Homebrew Launcher in your install folder, let's head over to the Wii U and get it installed before we go on with the next step. And once you're over on your Wii U, just head over into WAP Installer GX2. Now I have the channel, the app in the Homebrew Launcher also works. Or the Me Maker, I guess. It's not the Homebrew Launcher yet. <laughs> but I can only show you this on the gamepad, so I'll switch over quick. Once you're in WAP Installer GX2, just scroll down until you see the Homebrew Launcher. Select it, so there's a green check mark. Press install, press yes, you want to install. And you can install it to your NAND, which is your Wii U's internal storage, or a USB drive if you have it set up. It's pretty small, so I'm just going to do NAND. And once you click it, it'll begin. Very quick download, it's only 8 megabytes. And successfully installed, press OK. And it should be on your Wii U menu now. Let's uh, go over and check it out. We're back on the Wii menu, let's go find it. I did not have a slot open, so it should be somewhere over here. There it is. Let's just uh, pick it up and replace the Mii Maker because we no longer need it for the homebrew apps. But now that we have the app on our Wii U menu, it still won't work until we delete the file that injects it into the Mii Maker. So let's head back onto the PC and get that deleted. There's one more step that we have to do. So head over to the root of your SD card and we're going to go remove the file that adds the homebrew launcher into the Mii Maker. So go into Wii U, Environments, Tiramisu, Go into modules setup and here we go so you can see that there is 50 hbl installer.rpx we are going to delete this file and then the me maker will be back to normal it'll just even when you load up here misu on your wii u you can use the me maker as normal like we used to but once you have that file deleted the me maker is no longer the homebrew launcher and you will be able to load into the Homebrew Launcher with the app we just downloaded onto the Wii U. So let's head over there and test it out to make sure it works. And there you have it. Now you can have an actual Homebrew Launcher app on your Wii U menu. So it really, you know, kind of finishes off the homebrewed look for your Wii U. But anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, if you could please leave a like, that really helps my channel out. And if you're interested in more Wii U modding tutorials, I have a whole playlist linked below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!